Welcome back techies. We all know that everyone will use internet in our home through a router. If 5 members are living in a house, all people can access the internet through a single router called home network. Suppose one member is a student at the university, he will leave his home network and go to university and then enter into the university network. Similarly, every day hundreds of people leave their home network and join the workplace networks. Everyone can connect to the university Wi-Fi to access internet. Additionally, university have different branches like IT, Tripoli, CSE, Mechanical, Administration and so on. Each branch has its own laboratory equipped with 70 to 100 desktops for students all with internet access. Have you ever noticed how university maintain their network? How can hundreds of students able to access the internet whether than CSE department, whether than administration department or even the canteen, they can still access the university Wi-Fi. In this video, let us try to understand about the how this entire university network is set up through networking devices. Before moving into the details, let us try to understand what is a network. A computer network comprises two or more computers that are connected either by cable wire or Wi-Fi wireless with the purpose of transmitting, exchanging or sharing data and resources. In a simple way, when two devices can exchange information like text message, voice, email, sharing, video, audio, whatever data is exchanged between devices through wire or wireless is called a network. So what is the difference between wire or wireless? Here wire can refer to connection made with a physical cable like Ethernet cable is directly connected between devices to exchange information. Wireless can refer to technology like Wi-Fi where data is transmitted between devices through air without any need of physical cable. So let us begin our journey with any devices. Each and every student has their own smartphone called any devices. Any devices are the tool. We use them in our daily basis for direct communication such as smartphone, laptops, smartwatches and desktops. User can directly interact with these end devices for two primary purposes, data generation and data consumption. For example, you can generate text messages, you can generate PNG and JPG image by taking photos or you can create MP4 videos with your camera. All this falls in the data generation and whatever data you are access on internet, comes under the data consumption. For instance, when you are watching a YouTube video, you are consuming data from YouTube server. Scrolling through your Instagram feed means you are consuming data from Instagram server, downloading files, browsing web pages and using apps. All will concern under the data consumption. Three main models in your smartphone actually help users to transfer their data to internet and consume data from internet. Model 1 Seller Module so whenever using cellular networks, this model helps convert your data to radio waves and transfer them to local cell tower. To do this, you need a SIM card, which stands for Subscription Identity Module. SIM card and cellular modules work together to transfer your data to cellular networks. Model 3 Wi-Fi Radio Module So whenever using Wi-Fi network, this module helps to convert your data into radio waves and transfer them to router. Typically, with the help of this Wi-Fi module, your smartphone captures Wi-Fi signals from nearby routers. So that is why you can able to see multiple Wi-Fi signals when you check Wi-Fi option in your smartphone. Laptops are similar to your smartphone. They have Wi-Fi cards and antennas. These antennas are installed around the display of your laptop so they can capture Wi-Fi signals from your router and transfer your data to the router. But what about desktops? In this case, NIC, Network Interface Card, will actually help your desktops to connect to internet. You can connect your desktops to the router using an Ethernet cable. So all the desktops in the universities are connected to the physical cable called Ethernet cable with the help of NIC, Network Interface Card, and all your smartphones and laptops are connected to your Wi-Fi with the help of Wi-Fi Access Module. Intermediate devices interconnect end devices. These devices provide connectivity and work behind the scenes to ensure the data flow across the network. So whenever you want to send data to internet from your smartphone, after pressing enter, your data is first initially transferred to the router within the university network. Then the device transfer your data to internet. Not only in the university, when you are at home, your data is first transferred to your home router which is a part of your home network and the router will transfer your data to internet. So router is one of your intermediate devices. Router connects computers and other devices to the internet. Router is your intermediate devices which actually connect two different networks. One is your internal network and other one is the internet. That is why each and every house and small offices will purchase a router for an internet connection. Generally when you look back at your router, it has six ports. One is power port, second is wide area network port. These ports allow you to plug an internet connection and four local area network ports where you can connect desktops with an ethernet cable. Additionally, they have Wi-Fi antennas which actually converts your internet connection into Wi-Fi. But this entire setup has one problem. 
You can use limited number of smartphones, laptop, and only four desktops with an Ethernet cable. University of different branches like IT, CAC, mechanical, administration, and so on. Each branch has its own laboratory equipped with 70 to 100 desktops for students, all with internet access. These desktops are connected to the router with an intermediate device called switch. A switch connects device within local area network by using MAC address to identify where to send data packets. So switch is an intermediate devices that helps to connect multiple end devices. When you look back at a switch, each switch is equipped with 24 ports allowing it to set internal signals up to 24 desktops at a time. Each department has its own switch and all switches are connected to a central router which is a campus network. Additionally, an access point is connected to a switch through an Ethernet wire and it can convert your internet signals into Wi-Fi signals. These access points are placed around the campus so that each and every student can access the campus Wi-Fi and the router is connected to the internet. Anyone can hack your campus Wi-Fi, so to overcome this issue, a device is placed in the front of router called Firewall. A firewall is a network security device that monitors incoming and outgoing network traffic. So whatever data is incoming from the internet, the firewall inspects the data. If it finds anything suspicious, it immediately takes action by blocking it. This entire network setup is called local area network. I hope you got a clear vision about the local area network and how networking devices help us to connect to internet. Additionally, there are few more networking devices like hub, modem, server and load balancer which I will discuss in my next video. Stay tuned and thank you.